YouTube, what is going on? Rich here and welcome back to another episode of the Football Manager Project right here on the FM Scout channel. So the idea of this series is to give you guys some ideas for some new saves. Now that Football Manager 2016 is eight months old, it's only got about another four months left on it. Um, so I want to give you guys some great ideas for some new saves and today we're going to be focusing on the German Bundesliga. So what I'm going to do, I am going to pick five teams for you guys that I think will be a really, really fun save to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into those teams, have a look at their finances, what their facilities are like, and we'll also have a look at a couple of key players that they have got in their team. So without further ado, let's get into the first team and see who we are going to pick. The first team that I'm going to choose, guys, is Wolfsburg. Predicted to finish fourth in the Bundesliga, uh, but it will still be a great challenge for you. All these teams that I pick will be great challenges because it's going to be such a task to try and override Bayern Munich at the top of the Bundesliga. Now, Wolfsburg predicted to finish fourth. Uh, stadium capacity of, uh, of 30,000. Uh, impressive training facilities and great youth facilities, which is always good, and you will start life uh, in the European Champions League. Now, if we have a look at Wolfsburg themselves, the captain is uh, Diego Benaglio, and they have got Naldo, the centre-back, as their vice-captain. Their finances are rich, so you should be, uh, be given a rich wealth to be able to go out and buy some really, really good players and attract them to your team. 30,000 capacity in the stadium. And, uh, and let's just have a look at some of these players. I'm going to put them in order. Now we did have Naldo the centre back, but they have also got uh, they've also got this guy. They've got Dante as well. Now he's going to be missing at the start of the season for you, uh, out for four to six weeks with a pulled hamstring. Uh, but Dante the centre back, uh, you know, 18 marking, 19 tackling, 14 passing, really really good, 15 heading as well. His mentals are absolutely insane. And he's just come over from Bayern Munich where he made uh, 85 appearances, scoring three goals for them. 31 years old now, but valued at 2.7 million. Now there is Naldo as well that you can put alongside him at centre-back. And just look at those heading, marking and tackling stats. Really, really good. 32 years old. You'll get a season or two out of those guys. Uh, but you will need to be trying to push through a little bit more youth into the team. Now also at the back you've got the Swiss 22 year old Ricardo Rodriguez who you can play as a wing back, you can get him bombing up and down that left side, you may even be able to train him up uh, to be a left sided midfielder as well, purely because of that crossing stat that he's got. Uh, 17 crossing, his acceleration isn't great, his pace isn't bad. Um, but, you know, overall, he's got 16 tackling as well, good mentals, good physicals, and he's been at Wolfsburg since 2011, making 101 appearances so far. Now, they've also got Julian Draxler in the squad as well, the attacking midfielder. Uh, again, great dribbling, great first touch, good long shots, good technique as well. Uh, his mental stats could be better, his physicals aren't bad, uh, but he's just moved over to the club in time for the 15-16 uh, the season. 21 years old, a great age uh, for any centre attacking midfielder as well. Uh, they've, got, they've got the Lord, you've got the Lord Bentner up front. 27 year old Danishman, valued at 3.3 million, uh, only a year left on his contract so you could get rid of him if you wanted. Uh, he spent a bit of time at Wolfsburg now, making 18 appearances and only scoring the one goal. Uh, but you've also got this man, Andre Schürrle, who will play down that left-hand side for you. Really good stats. I can't believe he's only 24 years old now, the German. Um, I, th I thought he was a little bit older than that. Uh, but he's played 14 times before the start of this season for Wolfsburg. Valued at 10 million and still four years left on his contract. Made 46 uh, appearances for the German national team too. So... That, I mean, there's many, many more players that Wolfsburg have got that you could really mount a challenge with. Uh, but trying to make this video a little bit shorter than some of the other ones, uh, Wolfsburg will be a great challenge for you guys. So get in there with them, uh, sign a couple of players, I'd maybe start from the back. Going forwards, they've got a, a pretty good age range, uh, but at the back their defenders are ageing a little bit. So get some more defenders in of, of a younger age, similar stats to Dante and Naldo, and you will be laughing. Now the second team that I'm going to choose is Bayer Leverkusen, another team that will be in the Champions League as you start your save and um, predicted to finish one place higher than Wolfsburg in the league in third. Superb training facilities and excellent youth facilities so you'll get your, your good players will get even better and uh, you should hopefully get some decent regens through 
with your excellent youth facilities. Now, for Leverkusen, uh, Lars Bender is the captain, and Toprak, uh, the centre-back, is your vice-captain. Again, described as rich, so you should get loads and loads of money to be able to bring through a few players, and they play in the 30,000 capacity stadium of the, uh, the Bay Arena. Now, going from the back again, they've got loads and loads of goalkeepers, uh, but there's... Uh, there's Leno here, who I think is by far your best one. 16 handling, 17 one-on-ones, 17 reflexes, and 16 rushing out. He's been at Leverkusen since 2011, making 133 appearances for them. Uh, personality spirited, and uh, he, he will be really, really good for you. Valued at almost 10 million, and you've got another three years of him left on your contract. He's still not getting in that German national team, though in front of Neuer. Now top rack we looked at a little bit earlier um, you know he, he looks like a decent player at centre back the 25 year old Turkish man uh, 13 heading 16 marking 16 tackling again someone that's been at Leverkusen for quite a few years now uh, since 2011 uh, but they've also got a few youngsters coming through that will be pretty good as well Jonathan Tarr uh, will come in he will be he's only 19 the German Already valued at 4.1 million, but he will be really, really good. He's come through from Dusseldorf uh, in time for the start of the 15-16 season. Uh, but 13 heading, 14 marking, and 14 tackling already. Uh, he will be really, really good for you. And then you've got uh, this guy as well that plays centre-back. Could be known as a bit of a wonder kid. I always struggle to say his name, so I'm going to call him Jedvaj. Um That's probably the best I can do. I do apologise, guys. Try, not, try and be nice to me in the comments. 19 year old Croatian valued at 3 million and still another five years you can get out of him as well He's been at Leverkusen uh, since 2014 the centre-back uh, and he tries to play his way out of trouble So that you know with that 12 passing that would worry me a little bit now going through forwards through this team as well uh, You've also got the right side of midf midfielder Bellarabi 17 dribbling his crossing isn't great though So that would be you know, maybe a little bit of concern for me, but first touch uh, really good at 15. He's quite aggressive and he is a flair player with good work rate. His physicals are brilliant as well. Valued at 15.25 million. Another five years on that contract and he's already got seven caps uh, for the German national team. Been at Leverkusen again since 2011. So they're building quite a, quite a good side there now. Uh, Hakan Kalinoglu, again the attacking midfielder, Turkish insane stats really really good stats free kick taking 18 get him on those free kicks for you uh, at Leverkusen since 2014 likes to uh, try long range free kicks cuts inside you can play him on the wings as well so he's got 16 crossing and 18 corners he's really really good only valued at 10 million uh, but you've got him for another four years nine caps for Turkey and then up front uh, you've got this man Hernandez. He will be fantastic for you 16 finishing which is exactly the stat uh, that you would want for him He's uh, you know contract of the Leverkusen brought from Man United where he made 102 appearances Get him up front for you the Mexican 74 caps for his country He will score loads and loads of goals for you. So overall Leverkusen another fun save a few players added you could maybe challenge Bayern Munich in that first season now, Augsburg are another team that could be a real good challenge for you guys. Uh, predicted to finish ninth in the league, they will be in uh, in the Europa League at the start of the time that you do your save. Average training facilities and average youth facilities as well. But as you can see, Augsburg's rise uh, has really come about in the last few years. So they've they've played in the German first division uh, for four years now. So they won the second division in the 10-11 season. But as you can see, you know, even just way back in the 1996-97 the season, they were right down in the German regional division, only getting promoted uh, to, to Division 2 in the 2005-06 season. They had a few great seasons there. Can you continue that rise? Can you spend a few years at Augsburg and try and get them up there to that top of the league? They've already qualified for the Europa League. Finances are okay, so you're not going to get a lot of money. Uh, but they do play in that 30,000 capacity stadium. Now the first thing that strikes me about this Augsburg team is they do tend to have, they, they looks like they've got really quite a big squad. Uh, they've got a few players in on loan as well, this guy, uh, Finn Bogerson, the Icelandic man on loan from Real Sociedad, 16 finishing, uh, 17 penalty taking, 13 technique, 
he should get quite a few goals for you. Uh, he's, he's played in the German league before, uh, scoring 53 goals in 62 games. Uh, but then he went out to Spain, didn't have a great time of it. He's now back at Augsburg. Can you get him firing the goals in for you guys again? Now, the players in this team are pretty average, to be honest. You've got Kulibay as well. Uh, contract to Augsburg, he is your player for another three years. Play, He can play on the left. Uh, you could stick him up front if you really needed to, but his finishing isn't fantastic. Uh, he's previously came from Ingolstadt in uh, the 2014 season. And he's made 22 appearances, scoring one goal for Augsburg so far. Uh, not a bad player, not the best. You would really, really have to build on this squad. One man that you do have, though, is Alexander S. Vine. Uh, previously of uh, Nuremberg, really, really pacey player. Get him on down that right-hand side. 16 acceleration and 19 pace. Uh, his stats aren't the best, I'm not going to lie to you. Only worth £2.8 million, pounds, uh, but you have got him for another couple of years. Uh, but S. Wine, I do remember him. He was a bit of a, a god in FIFA. Uh, but 13 crossing, 13 dribbling. He, he's just quick, but I think he will cause quite a lot of problems down that right-hand side. A little bit like when we when we talked in the Serie A save about Birbiani for Inter Milan. I, I put him as a as a similar a similar kind of player to that. Shoots with power, avoids using weaker foot, likes to cut inside for both wings. So. You know, Augsburg will be a massive challenge for you, absolutely no doubt about it. Uh, but they, they do look like quite a lot of fun. I mean, you know, you will have, uh, as far as the senior squad's concerned, you'll have the German First Division, the German Cup, and the Europa League to focus on. So, lots to look at in there. Uh, great fun save. Let's go and have a look at the next team. The team number four is going to be Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, a team that, you know, they, I think they've struggled a little bit in over the last few years. Uh, but over the last three, they've decided to get progressively better and better and better now. Uh, so they've got, they play in that 54,000 uh, seat, uh, 37,000 seats, but 54,000 capacity stadium. Impressive training facilities, great youth facilities. And again, another team where you'll start your life in the European Champions Cup. Not sure how far you'll get, um, but you know, do you, you'll do your best anyway. Predicted to finish sixth in the league. Uh, not predicted to be challenging Bayern Munich at the start of the game, but again, with a few additions, uh, you should be able to challenge them within the first like two or three seasons. Now, the captain is uh, Martin Stranzel, uh, and the vice captain is uh, Tony Janska. I hope I've said those names right, guys. Like I say, be kind to me in the comments, please. Their finances are okay. You're not going to get an awful lot of money. Um, but, you know, they will be a, a real, real challenge for you to get through. Now, having a look uh, through some of the, the squad, this guy is a good player. Uh, the Norwegian, uh, Nordvit. That's how I'm going to pronounce his name. Um, 25 years old, tireless defensive midfielder. And he's, his mental stats are absolutely fantastic. 17 aggression, 16 bravery. I think he, he'll make a, a, you know, a really good defensive midfielder. 16 concentration as well. 16 concentration, but his decisions are only 11. Uh, 18 teamwork, 17 work rate, and he's got good natural fitness and stamina as well. Something that you'll always want. You've only got him for another year, though, if you do want to keep hold of him. Uh, I have used this player before in, uh, in one or two of my saves. And he does come really, really good after a couple of years. Now, speaking of good players, you've got this man that has recently, actually in real life, just signed for Arsenal. Uh, Xhaka. Real, real good. Uh, again, he, he can play in central midfield or as the defensive midfielder. But he will dictate the play for you uh, with that 18 passing and 15 technique, 16 vision as well, and 17 composure. He will, he will dictate the play for you in the midfield spots. He's already made 80 appearances uh, for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, and his physical stats are pretty well, uh, pretty good as well. Uh, media description is defensive midfielder, comes deep to get the ball, dictates the tempo, and does like to switch the ball to the opposite flanks. Uh, he's, he's under contract for four years still, though, in your save, and valued at 7.75 million. And even at 22 years old, he's already got 36 caps for Switzerland. Now, going forward through midfield, uh, going through attacking midfield, you've got the Belgian, the fake Hazard, Thorgan Hazard, um, 16 first touch, 16 technique, absolutely brilliant. His stat, his other stats are pretty solid as well, uh, especially some of his mentals, his flair and vision are the ones that stand out. 
Uh, he's been at Borussia Mönchengladbach since 2014, valued at 4.8 million, still four years on that contract as well. Uh, but only one cap so far for the Belgian national squad. Uh, I'm sure that that will change as time goes on. Now you've got Hermann the German in there as well. We'll play it on your right hand side. Uh, two caps for Germany, but valued at 10 million so far. And, you know, another four years on that contract. Uh, physical stats really, really good, especially in acceleration, agility and pace. Um, and his mentals aren't too bad either. Mainly off the ball, work rate and aggression. He's play been at Borussia Mönchengladbach since 2008. He's made 162 appearances, scoring 33 goals for the first team. So Borussia Mönchengladbach look like lots of fun. Again, you know, you've got a, a pretty solid base that you about them. Uh, a few players added you could be challenging within a couple of years. I don't think you'd do it in the first season, but it certainly is a good project. And finally, we're going to have Borussia Dortmund. Now, they had a shocking season, uh, the season before this game starts, uh, when they were originally under Jurgen Klopp. They went had a real poor start, and I think they were bottom of the league at one stage. They managed to claw it back, so at the start of your save, you will be in the Europa League. But... Excellent training facilities and excellent youth facilities as well. They play in front of 81,000 people every week. Predicted to finish second in the league table. Matt Hummels, the captain. Uh, vice captain is Weidenfeller. And they are rich. You will be provided with lots and lots of money in order to be able to boost this squad. But when you look at some of the players that are in this team, going from the back, you know, Weidenfeller in goal. 34 years old now, but still amazing stats. Been at Dortmund since 2002, playing 339 games. You know, going through the team, Matt Hummels, the captain, uh, 15 heading, 17 marking, 17 tackling, fantastic mentals, fantastic physicals, valued at 21 million, and you've still got a couple of years left of him as well. Uh, Subotic is a good player back there as well. Sven Bender can hold it down in that defensive midfielder role. Again, fantastic mental stats that he's got there. And he's got 16 marking and 18 tackling. Exactly what you want from the 26-year-old German in there. Eric Derm, I've used before. Very, very good fullback. Uh, he's, they usually make him available for loan, but he will do really, really good for you. Uh, Gundogan, uh, who's recently just signed for Man City, I do believe. The, the other defensive midfielder, the German, 24 years old, 17 first touch, 16 passing and 17 technique, made 80 appearances for Dortmund and valued at almost £19 million. Now going further forward through the team, uh, you've got Marco Royce, again a player blessed with pace, 19 acceleration and 16 pace, can play on the left or the right, he's got 16 finishing as well, you could even bang him up front. Um, four years on that contract, £29 million. I'm sure you could get a lot more than that for him uh, if you can make a team pay. Um, and then, you know, Finally, they, they're blessed with loads and loads of really good players, uh, but maybe one of the, the top, top players, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, uh, will be your leading player up front. 20 acceleration, 19 pace, he's absolutely rapid, likes to move to the channels, places shots, 14 finishing isn't the best, um, but he, you never know, he might get a little bit better, but great composure at 16, great off the ball at 17, and he's been at Dortmund. Uh, since 2013 rumored to be making a move a summer move to the Premier League uh, this season uh, but Dortmund you should there's no reason at all why you shouldn't at least get them to the Champions League in your first season but can you challenge Bayern Munich at the top of the table guys thank you so much for watching this video today those are my five teams and five projects that you can have in the German Bundesliga if you've enjoyed this video, make sure that you do hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the Football FM Scout channel. Uh, subscribe to my channel as well. I'll leave the link to that in the description. It's rich on Twitch underscore TV. Speaking of Twitch, check me out on there as well every Saturday night from 11pm on Twitch. That will also be in the description. But until then guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you all in the next video.